a service of CNC Worldwide. The Daily is a service of CNC News and Jib Jab Greetings. I'm Bud Lowell. The full wacky weather forecast is right across the top of every CNC local news page. Rochester Police Chief James Shepard says the department is putting some major attention into the string of shootings in the southwest side. Four people were shot between Saturday night and Tuesday night on Depew and on Salina Streets off Chai Lai Avenue. In a news conference, the chief said this violence has raised significant alarm both in his department and in the neighborhood. This started with the shooting Saturday night of Dimitri Everett on Depew Street, and that 36-year-old man died Sunday. That night, a young man and woman were shot on the same block right after a memorial for Everett. Then a 22-year-old was shot and hospitalized a block over on Tuesday night. The police believe the shootings are gang-related. Chief Shepard says his officers are circulating, talking to neighbors, and trying to cool things down. A task force is also operating in the area, including city, Monroe County, and state police officers. He says they are seeking a known suspect in the Everett homicide. He hopes an arrest will help address the violence. A Rochester man was stabbed early Thursday on Glendale Park in Rochester's Edgerton neighborhood. Police say the 31-year-old man was found shortly before 1 a.m. He was taken to Strong, and they say he's in stable condition there. Police say he was stabbed in the upper body during an argument. A Canandaigua woman who pretended to have breast cancer and took thousands of dollars from area residents has been sentenced to spend up to five years in prison. Melissa Jones also owes $40,000 in restitution after she was sentenced Thursday in Canandaigua. Her former neighbors who raised the money on her behalf say if they do get any of it back, they will donate it to someone who actually needs it. The two suspects charged in connection with the murder of an RIT professor have pleaded not guilty in state Supreme Court. 28-year-old Jarrell Henry is charged with first and second degree murder. 26-year-old Natalie Johnson with two counts of second degree murder. Police say they robbed Rochester Institute of Technology professor Edlyn Chun at her home, shot her in the head, and dumped her body in Tryon Park. Prosecutor Perry Duckles declined to comment, saying the circumstances of the case will come out during the trial. A Brighton man has pleaded guilty in federal court to running a sex trafficking operation involving underage girls. The U.S. Attorney's Office for Western New York says Thomas Kramer preyed on runaways and drug users. He admitted to enticing, promoting, and making money by prostituting five young girls. Authorities say these girls were between 15 and 17. Kramer is accused of placing ads on adult websites, then arranging for sex acts to take place at his home and at hotels in Rochester and in Buffalo. According to the Buffalo News, a former state trooper will avoid going to prison after he was caught lining up prostitutes for some off-duty parties. Titus Taggart was dismissed from the state police as a result of the investigation. He'd been a member of the thruway detail in Buffalo, and prosecutors say his off-duty activities included bringing hookers across the border from Canada. He pleaded guilty in December in Erie County Court to a charge of promoting prostitution. He has been sentenced to serve three years probation and put in 300 hours of community service. There was an unusual statement issued by the East Rochester School District Wednesday saying there is no pending threat to students or the school community. A letter to parents in the community signed by Superintendent Ray Giamartino and Police Chief Steve Clancy says rumors circulated this week that the East Rochester police found weapons in an ER home and that a student had threatened someone. The district's school resource officer and other East Rochester police officers investigated these reports. They concluded the rumors were unfounded. No weapons were found at the home in question. No student made threats to harm anyone. The superintendent concludes that this was an unfounded rumor with no credibility. A Greece police officer was involved in a car crash Wednesday night at Long Pond Road in Maiden Lane. It was minor. The officer was brought to Strong Memorial Hospital for a checkup. This is the second time in a week an officer in Greece has been involved in an accident. An officer slid off Island Cottage Road in icy conditions early Friday and hit a utility pole. She suffered minor injuries. A Monroe County grand jury has indicted a Rochester man on a murder charge for stabbing a woman to death inside the Andrews Terrace Apartments on St. Paul Street. Police say 47-year-old Dennis McFadden stabbed 32-year-old Doreen Hildebrandt repeatedly in a stairwell at the high-rise apartment building on January 29th. Hildebrandt died March 6th of her injuries. 
Both the assailant and the victim lived at the Andrews Terrace. Police have not commented on their relationship. And the U.S. Attorney for Western New York says a Rochester City School District employee is facing a mail fraud charge for his part in a Jamaican lottery scam. Prosecutor William Hochul says 54-year-old Ricky Miller Sr. was contacting elderly people in the Rochester area, telling them they had won the lottery but would have to pay taxes and a delivery fee to collect their prize, and he would then split the money he received with associates in Jamaica. Miller, who is a city school custodian, faces up to 20 years in prison if convicted. Links to these and other stories are to the left of the player window and at the bottom of the page, links you can use to post news and information directly to us. Share your news and videos with us. We appreciate hearing from you. The next news is as it happens. Updates are as necessary, and you can help us be the judge of that. I'm Bud Lowell, CNC News.